Hi guys, Yao Chi here and welcome to our latest Finding Dory playset playthrough. Just hanging out in the Mora Bay area again after I've done a bit of redesigning if I'm honest guys. I've invested in a couple of new buildings over here. One of which is a sort of a collectible clam distribution point if you like. Um, we'll hit the button and let you see this one. Pretty funky. And as I said, it distributes shells, collectibles, so there's some free currency for us, which is pretty cool. And I've just seen something sneak around the back here, if I can catch them up. Yep, there's a school of one of our redesigned fish. I'm not entirely sure which ones, but they're looking pretty pretty. I like those, I like those a lot. Really nice. There's quite a few we can redesign, and there's a ton of ton of colours we can choose from. I'll put a nice little coral piece in here so we can relax. <laughs> and we've got a new, I think it's called the organ. Organ shell. Really nice little funky piece there. And I think what it's supposed to do is change the background music in the Morro Bay area. So it's also like... It serves as a function as well. But for now, guys, I think we've got about two more areas to enter to try and save as many fish as we can before they get washed out to the seagull. So we better not mess about. Let's go down in the uh, level selection area and see where we're heading next. And it's looking like we're going back to the touch pool. This one's called touch pool escape. And we're going to be rescuing all the fish and collecting the sand dollars. So let's see how many we can actually collect and save. And we'll get it on. Ooh, Nemo? Dory? Where are you? I can't see you anywhere. Um, I don't know. Nothing looks familiar. I think we went through the wrong pipe. We've got trouble. They're draining the touch pool. And there's still fish in there. They're gonna be seagull bait. We'll help, Bailey, but which way do we go? Where are you? What do you see? Um, I see kelp? Yeah, lots of kelp. And we're directly under a big white whale. Possibly a beluga. Oh, hey. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a beluga. Hurry, you have to save the fish in the touch pool. It's already half empty. So it's still half full. Come on, Dory, let's go. Right, to quarantine. The touch pool. To the touch pool. Ooh, you made it. Great. Now hurry and get those fish out of there before they go down the drain. It sounds like we need to be pretty darn quick about this one as they're starting to drain the pool already. It's not good. Oh my goodness, we're under attack already from motorized sharks. And I've got to tell you guys, it's been a couple of days since I've uh, since I played this playset, so I'm a little bit out of touch. I hope I can remember the majority of what I'm supposed to do here. Looks like we've got two little fishies up to save here. They're looking pretty, pretty. So there's our first two. And the fish are pointing this away. So let's get out Mr. Old Crab. If I can remember which button it is. There we go. Should be good to go. We'll just check out the bottom. Okay, there's nothing to collect at the bottom here. I like how those fish can swim through the current with no problem. The old Nemo really struggles here. I am so impressed. So it looks like we're up and we're away. We'll just check there's nothing in there. Which there's not. Oh, there's a little bit, bit of a sneaky time shell collection. Let's see if we can do this. Ah, oh, miss one. Get back. Go, 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 Nemo. Yes, we've got it. Got a real nice effect of jumping through the pools. Oh, oh, so this is trouble. I think I'm going to dash for it, guys. Let's go, go, go. Oh my goodness, this is serious trouble. I'm going to get in here and see what's happening. Okay, let's go for it. There's a fish to save. We got him. It's like he's going around that way, so we'll go this way. And hopefully he won't come too close to me. My goodness. So Nemo's saying to go deeper. Oh, this is epic, guys. We've got all the sidekicks we need. This is really cool. But yet, yeah, we're struggling. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh my goodness. Exploding mines. Really don't want to get in the way of those. Let's dash. Oh, this is tough, guys. This is tough. Getting onto the latter levels now, and it's getting pretty tough. 
Let's jump on the crab. I see something here, I think. We'll try and get as much as we can, guys. See if we can 100% the level. Not a way through there. It's a little bit odd. Doesn't seem to give much. Just some collectible shells. Fine, we'll go for those. So we'll get some of them. Some health. Oh. So where are we going on this one? This one looks a little tough. I think we're going to have to follow the snake. Oh my goodness. This is tough. Can we go through there? We can't go through there. We're trapped. Oh, this is bad. We've got to go up. Oh my goodness. Nicely done. As with most of this playset, guys, I'm playing this one blind again, so sort of working it out as I go along. I hope I can get as much as possible. We have 100% at a couple of levels on blind runs, and there's our first sand dollar which unlocks. Oh, that looks nice. The polka dot coral. Let's be a bit wary of this snake, but I don't want to miss anything. Oh my goodness, he's gone the same way as us. Let's outrun him. Wow, that was pretty hairy. So we're quite ahead of the game. Three required and we've got seven, so... Doesn't look like there's anything... Oh, there is something down there. It looks like it's a secret little way to go. Yep, yeah, let's have a look. So, that's a little bit odd. I'm not entirely sure if we can get this way. Let's just check we can't go that way. No, we can't. We'll try. We'll try with the old shrimp here. Normally, he can't cut through the red... But he can cut through the green. Okay, that's cool. And we saved another fishy. Epic. Oh! <laughs> so there's a button up here, guys. Let's see what this one does. And it's changed the flow of water. Okay. So we can't go that way. We're going to have to go back the way we came. We're up to nine fish here already, guys. We're doing pretty good. I see two more, I think, on the radar, so... Oh, my goodness. What is that about? Okay. That's pretty cool. Quite like that. Funky. And there's one of them on the radar. And looking like the next one's down this way. So let's head down. Arrows are pointing downwards. Out with the cuttlefish. And it looks like, oh my goodness, watch the spiky mines. I'm picking up something, oh. something bad. Uh oh. Bail the beluga whale sounds like he's uh, getting a bit worried about something. Oh, and I don't like these blobs. They're pretty tough to get by. Ow. Oh my goodness. Is that a new type of shark? It was a pretty fast moving one. Uh, out with a cuttlefish. You're doing so well. <laughs> oh, until you hear a spike. <laughs> so we're up to 13 now, then, guys. Let's get this little bit of health here. You've got this. And that's maxed us out nicely. Look out. Oh my goodness, this is tough. We've got the shrimp. Let's get in there fast oh, if we comes. can. I think, yeah, just, just, just made that. It's pretty hairy. Don't like the look of this, but we've got another sand dollar. Oh, that looks epic. The spotted orange Montipora plate coral. That does look pretty funky. Yeah, and I thought as much. I'm going to cut through this, but I'm going to... I'm going to actually go back. Because I see a fish. Let's be quick about this. Yep, we're good, we're good. And we've got 14, and we need 8, so we are well ahead of the game. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a 25 on this one again, guys. Just clear the way. Get these sharks out of the way so we're not getting in trouble. So he looks like he might be there for a reason. Let's just bosh him down here a little bit. And see if we can pummel him over. Oh, I did nothing. Okay, so let's just let's get the fish while we're here. Brings us up to 16. I wonder why that was there then. Normally they're there to to kill something huge, but nevertheless, okay, so it looks like we won't be able to swim through this bit. Yeah, we're gonna need the crab. Let's jump on his back. 
We'll just check we're not going to miss anything down at the bottom. Oh my goodness, spikes. Yeah, didn't want to hit those really. But let's see how easy this bit is. Double jump and we're up. Double jump again. Yeah. That's a little tough. Third attempt. Let's see if we can manage it this time, guys. Bit of a tough one. Once we're out of here, we're out of there. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? This is a tough jump. Okay, so we're up. Oh, and there's a hand waiting to grab you. So let's dash. Oh my goodness, this is pretty precarious. It'd be nice if you could shoot that spike or that bubble fish, whatever it is, into the hand. That'd be pretty cool. I hope I didn't just miss a fish there. Oh, are you kidding me? I hope they're my fish. Oh, okay, oh, it's okay. We've managed to get him. Crikey, this looks a little bit, quite a bit to work out here. So let's clear the way. We'll have a little look around. It's all coming around in circles. So we've got a button here. Let's let's push that and see what happens. Oh, bubble hit it. So that's changed the flow of water. Crikey, I guess I should have probably hit the other button first. Just thinking, yep, yep, yep. Oh no! Wow, did we just miss something? So, what's the other button for then? Let's just turn this off. I think we've pretty much covered what we needed to do here, but I'm a little intrigued. I just want to see. Just to be sure. Because obviously you can push this button. And I figured as much that was going to do that. Which is just going to shoot you right up to the top again. So, just hit this button quick. Not entirely sure we actually need to go this way, but we'll have a look. Start of intrigue. And up we shoot. Oh, ah, so watch. it actually yeah, is the way we needed to go. Epic, pretty cool. I'm certainly not getting that red one. Careful. Be careful. Oh, very, very close there. 21 fish, guys. We're pretty close. Ooh, I'm picking up something. Right, something so there's something bad. we can smash there. We'll just push him around as the fish do their job. I'm pretty sure there's going to be something sneaky over here. So is that the way back? Oh, timed shells. Let's not waste those. They're worth quite a bit of currency. So this is a little intriguing. Oh, this is a secret area. Oh, this is going to pull us back. And that actually, yep, that pulls you right back to the same spot. Okay. So you can work your way around in case you've missed something, I guess. But we're looking like four more fish maybe on this one, guys. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a tough one then. Let's get out the crab. Just check out the bottom. Okay, I'm guessing you really don't want to be falling down the bottom because there looks like a ton of mines there. And this looks tough. Let's wait for the snake. Okay, so we're up. We're on the first bit. I think you might be able to wait here. I can only hope. Yep. This is tough. This is tough. Okay, let's get up. Let's move quick. Let's go again. Oh, this is the one. Come on. Yes, we made it. Oh, that's pretty tough, guys. 22 fish. Some time shells. These are a little bit odd. Not in some sort of route. Nevertheless. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was horrific, guys. Oh, that was terrible. I actually jumped for the shells. Oh my goodness. Jump for the shells. And into the hand. If I'd have known there was a hand there, I certainly wouldn't have jumped towards it. That was crazy. So we're going to have to get past this snake again. Real tough bit and we've got to do it twice. Great. So let's see if we can without any trouble. Hopefully. The last bit. This is the tough one. Oh my goodness. Nearly. Nearly didn't make it. And let's be wary of this hand and just dash the heck through on this one. My goodness, if I'd known that was there. So 23, guys. 23. Two more. Surely only two more. I really hope. And I think we've not found one of the one of the sand dollars. So I think we've got one more of those to collect as well. This is a big area. Let's just make sure we're getting everything. 25. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. 
That's 24 fish. I don't think we've missed any. I don't think we've missed any areas. But we're going to need it to get in there where I've got a sneaky suspicion the last sand dollar is. Let's just have a little look-see around here. There's certainly nothing there. So I'm not... Oh! Oh my goodness! I see him on the radar. What am I talking about? He's right in the middle. Oh! But you've got to work out which way the snake's going so we can actually save him. Oh, this is epic. There he is. So that's number 25, and it's looking like the sand dollars down here. I can see it on the radar. Let's open this one. We'll go have a look. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Couldn't resist getting these while we're here. Nice amount of currency. And the final sand dollar, which is pink and yellow scales. That looks pretty. Let's get these timed ones, and they're in the shape of a heart. I'm sure that's what that's supposed to be. I'm going to miss one. No, I'm not. I got them all. Okay, guys, let's head for the exit. So 15. Close. So we were really ahead of the game there. Done really well on this level, guys. And hopefully... Yep, there's the pipe. <laughs> nice one, Nemo. Nice. And we 100% it and unlocked a ship in a bottle, a sunken ship. Oh, that's great. And, oh, brilliant. Some nice, nice little pieces for the toy box. So that's what we're getting when we're 100% them, guys. It is well worth doing it. And I think I'm probably going to come back and do the earlier levels to 100% them. And it's looking like... Could be wrong. But it's looking like we've unlocked the final level of the playset. So I'm going to save that for a final episode, guys. But for now, I do hope you enjoyed this, this episode. And a little bit more of the playset. And as for always... Thanks for watching. I do hope to see you in the next. And bye for now.